Majo John Madden broadcasting from the edge of a little pueblo called El Diamante in Veracruz State, Mexico. There's my Coca-Cola. Marissa this morning served it in the perfect stein, little, little beer stein. Perfecto. Uh, I've been through so many changes in the last, oh, four years, for sure. Four years for sure. But the last nine days, big time, unbelievable changes. Nine days ago, on Monday the 12th, must have been the 12th, was the day that I made the very momentous decision to let go of the new dog, Bear, that had been with me for about two months because I just couldn't carry him anymore, literally, and it wasn't working out. And it, quite fortunately, there was a guy there right on the scene, an angel of mercy who I think helped Bear land on his feet. Three days later, on Thursday, even more momentous, through a series of events and stresses that were kind of beyond the pale. The way I'm understanding it now, life conspired to put me in such a pressure cooker of stress that I did the unthinkable, which was to let go of my dog of 15 months magic. So unbelievable to me that I, I couldn't have pictured ever doing it, but a, a variety of events, including a big wedge between him and I that came through from the two months with Bear, and then the last few days with Bear, and then him behaving so unconscionably, terribly, as I was doing a very difficult drive. And I didn't intentionally leave him behind but I drove far enough that I made it hard for him to catch up, and he did not. I, even still now, almost cannot believe that could have happened. And the beauty part I'm seeing now is that life forced me to do something that I never would have known how to do, which was to let go of that dog, who is such a gorgeous dog that... I'm holding the image that he also is landing on his feet somewhere and with somebody who's not traveling, which is a lifestyle that absolutely did not work great for him at all. Yesterday in this restaurant, I'm just outside of a restaurant named Areli here on the edge of Diamante, which has been my home base for, I guess, five days since... I got towed in here by a guy named Edom, who I call a classic Mexican cowboy mechanic, unlicensed young guy. My camper van is down in his uh, compound down there, being worked on. And it's gonna take longer than I thought. It's gonna take a while because he cannot even send it out to have the first part of the work done at another shop until I have 4,000 pesos for him. And it was only yesterday that all this got cleared that he couldn't even start the work till I get my check on the 29th earliest, and that's eight days from now. And then he wants a week after that. So I'm gonna be here for probably 15 days. So it was yesterday here in this restaurant that I was writing some stuff about my last few years. My last three years on the road especially, that I realized I just stopped. In a way, I have not stopped in three years. I've got an inflection point, including that I have a little bit of money. At the end of the month, for three years, I've never been as comfortable financially at the end of the month. And that happened by a bit of grace 
some money a friend of mine, Lee, had sent to me weeks earlier had gotten returned to him because I never was able to pick it up from Apple. And he informed me that he had it now so I could have 300 bucks American. And I've been able to pick up part of it and I'm picking up the rest of it today at a neighboring town. So I'm stopped. I'm in a situation that really is quite workable where I'm parked, it's good for sleeping. I've been plagued by mosquitoes, but I am not over there. Red ants have been an issue, but I've learned how to handle them. I've got a strong Wi-Fi at this restaurant because it's connected with the big hotel behind it. It's the same operation, same people. So I'm able to load my videos. I'm able to access public radio, GPS, etc. So yesterday, sitting at a table, right over there, that same table over there where you can see, I've got a couple of glasses and a couple of chairs over there. My world started to spin. And I kind of staggered out to the same spot and realized, you, things are changing. Not having those two dogs the unthinkable is actually working for you much as you loved magic both of them but especially magic much as you have grieved and you've done it big time and you will continue to do it it's made your life inestimably easier and opened up all kinds of opportunities including that with the car off the road I can take taxis and buses to get to the neighboring town I would not have been able even to do that and Magic and I were so wedded at the hip that us being separate did not work. The one time back in the U.S., I've been in Mexico three months, the one time back in the U.S. that I tried to set up a night of uh, sitting for Magic on South Padre Island with a guy who really loved Magic and Magic loved him, it became clear it wasn't going to work because Magic would have taken off to try to catch up with me because he never was separate from me. And I need to be separate from him. Uh, this morning, what I got, as I continue to slow down, slow down, slow down, listen, 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 was I had given up my plans to visit Mexico City, which some people would not consider desirable. I'm very excited about visiting Mexico City. And 